Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Now, there we are. I'm not sure if that's a suitable introduction or not, as we welcome, not <laughs> Roxanne, but Gail Hall. Hello, a, John. G'day, how are you? Good, thank you. I see that you're going to review a, a movie called Roxanne, not related to Sting, though. Not related to Sting, no. no. Roxanne, and you'll find out soon, listeners, exactly who Roxanne is. Uh, this beautiful movie is directed by Melanie Ofret, uh, set in a little place called Collet in Brittany in France. Ooh. Now, a French movie, John, with English subtitles, or if you speak French, John, this is the perfect movie for you. Right. But subtitles. Ooh, a refresher. A refresher. You know, if you had the schoolboy or girl uh, French, it might help you for it to flood back. Well, it does. You know, yeah. you hear the words and you've got the subtitles, and after a while, you just might, oh, I'm sick of the subtitles, and you're still following it. Well, you are still following it, obviously, because it be, sort of becomes a story. But I mean, as I mentioned to you previous, that, you know, I picked up a few words that I learned mm. uh, from my schoolgirl French, mm. and uh, and I could recognise them. Then I was just picking up odd words during the, the movie, and I thought, oh, yeah, oh, felt, felt good. quite good. That's yes. good. That's yeah. great. Excellent. Now, I just want to tell you first, though, Roxanne is not a human, or although she'd like to be, I'm sure. <laughs> Roxanne is a hen, or poulet, as they say in France, and she's man's best friend friend, in this case, lead role Raymond LaRue. Um, like a dog, she travels in the van with him, but it has a special perch to sit <laughs> on. Um, and then a bird-human conversation takes place. <laughs> Quite amusing. And uh, John, I can actually relate to this because I've yes. got chickens. And the, you can and, talk yeah, to them. You can. You? And there's one particularly uh, that is very friendly yes. and she's always waiting for me out the back fence. And I don't know how she gets it's out the coop, actually. She's the only one that can fly. But um, but I, I sort of could relate to this because, yes. you know, she follows me up to feed the others and yes. I talk to her, and but I won't let her into the into the backyard because of the garden. Right. But I can relate to that. So it was a really good movie in that, in, in that respect. Now, uh, the, the supporting roles in this movie are, are all very good and well cast in their, uh, in their roles, but the French pronunciation, John, eludes me and rather than make a botch of their names, I think it's better left unsaid. So I, I, I'm just going to go along with that excuse. Now, Raymond um, farms 6,000 hens, um, a small organic operation compared to some in the area. Every day we see an amusing scene. Now, Raymond, sitting on a bale of hay, listening audience is the, of the feathered variety, mm-hmm and lots of them, (laughs) and he is actually reading to them Rostad's uh, Serrano de Bergerac, uh, a play mid-18th century, I think you know that, John, and uh, a theatrical prose, and I did read, actually, that that is all in prose, or sort of verse, isn't it? Yeah, interesting. Mm. So Raymond always fancied himself a bit of a uh, theatric but um, but anyway, this is his way of thanking all his hens um, for laying you know eggs, and uh, he sits up there and and reads a chapter or um, out of this book. Rather amusing, lovely. Mm. They mm. do listen. Mm. Uh, now, eventually, uh, of course, all these um, organic farms are run, you know, sort of overhead by a co- co-op. So eventually, a meeting is called by the Gwynedd Co-op and all the egg farmers in the district are looking to seek an increase uh, in price per egg of two cents. Not a lot, but when you've got 6,000 drunks, uh, it's a lot. But the co-op has other ideas and to the gathered small farmers inform them that they are going to cut costs and will not be supporting small operations only the larger ones. Well, you can imagine what that was like in a crowd of people. It was basically a death warrant for the hens and those operators that run the small farms. So that caused a lot of upset within the community. As you can imagine, the small village is devastated and in weeks the hens would be heading to the abattoirs. 
Raymond and his friend try to hatch a plan that will bring audiences to their blight. He is persuaded to create a YouTube video or a buzz, as they, uh, as his mother refers to it, um, leading roles himself and rocks Anne. Well. It was an absolute disaster. You see him actually trying to do this YouTube video. And it was very embarrassing for his family when they saw this YouTube video with him and Roxanne trying to uh, to let people know what was happening, you know, in the larger, audio, uh, larger community. Uh, but anyway, he discovers down the road, well, he doesn't discover because it is another neighbour, but Wendy is um, rather an eccentric lady, and I loved her part. She was absolutely surprised. Now, I'm sorry, I couldn't find her name in the credits because they're all in French and I didn't know which one was which, but she was delightful. Well, she happens to be a theatre scholar. And so she starts to mentor Raymond into uh, making these YouTube videos uh, for the cause of, um, you know, to let people know what's happening in their community with this big co-op trying to close them down. So I must admit, it, they're rather funny. And it does get the message across eventually. And in the end, he has a huge media following with his videos, uh, including um, Roxanne. And in the end, Roxanne becomes a rock star. (laughs) And it's very amusing. Well, John, in this movie, there's some delightful scenes and a good laugh out loud moments and that's exactly what I witnessed in the theatre people were laughing out loud great. which was great you know because sometimes you, you're inclined to suppress your laughter and um, I've purposely not given away the rest of the movie uh, that's for the movie goers to see because there are some dramatic moments in this movie uh, but it's and it's not all fun and laughter but it's, it's listed as a sort of a comedy, but there is some dramatic moments in it. Um, and I could tell that everybody was enjoying this movie. Now, in the credits, uh, I did notice, as I said to you, I couldn't understand, you know, all the French, but um, Roxanne was named in the credits playing herself. I thought that was actually <laughs> rather amusing. And... Um, uh, all the others in French, John, non comprehende. I, I just couldn't say. But this was a delightful movie. I suspect there's a lot of politics in this as well. I spent a wee bit of time in France and I got to know um, the, the neighbour. When did I say a wee bit of time? It was only yeah. a few weeks. Yeah. But um, the neighbour who's on this impossibly small farm. Mm-hmm. And he had three cows. Right. And so we got talking. And uh, my French is is negligible (laughs) so it was quite hilarious but I got the story that in this particular area of France and I believe in others Mm. that the way Napoleon paid his soldiers was with a little block of land and with the right to run a still Oh, and that's where all the small farms come from. Now, President Macron is attempting to rationalise all this. He's trying to get France into the 21st century, and and this is a big movement in France. I suspect there's a lot of politics in this as well. Wow, that is amazing because I think this is a little bit based on fact, you know, on truth. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, well, that's an interesting bit of um, information. Well, it's only a theory, but uh, reasonably well based. So, you're recommending Roxy? I am. I'm recommending it, and I um, didn't bring you a program, John, but I I did look up, and it's on every day from today onwards. I think it's on 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th of February, being first the beginning of the month, new month. And But I didn't catch the times, but I think they were about 2.30, 4.30. But, uh, but they can go into to Shoreline yes. and have a look. But, the um, excellent Shoreline yeah. cinema in Mahara Place, Waikanae. Thank That's you so much. For very good. Us. Very That's good movie. Great. I recommend it. Thank Tom. you so much, my dear. That's Gail Hall here on Beach FM. 106.3 Beach FM.